Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. In another video, we showed you that air takes up space and it has weight. And scientists call the weight of air, air pressure. Now, air is pushing down on us all the time. We can't feel it because we're used to it, and we can't see it because it's air. But that air, the pressure of that air, can do some pretty powerful things. And we want to show you a demonstration that plays with the pressure of air. Now, in another video, we showed you the egg in the bottle demonstration. We lowered the pressure inside the bottle, and that made the pressure outside strong enough to push the egg into the bottle. But what happens if you don't have the perfect size bottle? What happens if you have a smaller size bottle and there's no way the egg will fit in? Well, we have the answer for that today. Now, to play with the power of air pressure, you're going to need some things. You're going to need a glass bottle. You're going to need some matches, some paper, a straw, and a balloon filled with water. I like to keep that balloon in a cup of water to make sure the water helps the balloon make a nice tight seal on the bottle. So how do we start? So let's start by taking a look at the air pressure. When I put my, when I put my water balloon on top of the bottle, the air pressure inside the bottle is the same as the air pressure all around the balloon. And you'll notice if I try and push the balloon in, it's not going in because that air is taking up space and the pressure's keeping me from pushing the balloon in the bottle. So how do we get this balloon into the bottle? Well, we have to lower the pressure inside the bottle so that the pressure outside can push it in. How do we lower the pressure? We're gonna use science. First thing we need is safety. A big part of science is safety. So what we're going to do is light a piece of paper on fire and drop that paper into the bottle. Two things are happening. As that paper burns, it heats the air and the air leaves the bottle. You'll actually see the balloon bounce as the air is rushing past the balloon. The second thing is that fire is using oxygen in the air in the bottle to burn. That paper burning up the oxygen also lowers the pressure inside the bottle as well. So now we're going to zoom in and see this demonstration in action. So I'm going to start by taking a piece of paper and folding it back and forth. Take my time, make sure it's nice and neat. Why I fold the paper so that it can fit inside the bottle. Now, scrunch the top it's going to work. Next, I need to take my finger and wet it so that I can wet the inside of the bottle. Dry my finger off and I'm ready for this to work. Let's light our match. Let's light our paper. Drop it in. Balloon on top. And it worked! But I have a problem. How do I get this balloon out? Well, sometimes, if I'm lucky, I can just pull the balloon out. But what happens if I use a bigger balloon and I know it's not going to pull out? Well, let's take a look at that one right now. All right, we're ready to light and watch our demonstration work. Let the paper catch, drop it in. Ah, the bigger balloon worked. So how do we get this bigger balloon out? We can't pull this bigger one out. It's on there. So we're gonna use science to get it out. Think about this. We have to now increase the pressure inside the bottle to let the air pressure help us pull it out. If we can make the pressure greater inside the bottle, that balloon's coming out. How do we add air pressure inside the bottle? That's where my straw comes in. I'm going to stick the straw down alongside the bottle and the balloon. And what this allows me to do is to blow into the bottle, I'm gonna increase the air pressure and the balloon should pop out. Will it work? Let's see, here we go. Air pressure is an amazing thing. Scientists like to measure air pressure because air pressure has the power to change our weather. If it's high pressure, if there's a system of high pressure, that means the weather's going to be pretty nice. If there's a system of low pressure coming in, that means storms are coming. A scientist called the tool or instrument used to measure air pressure a barometer. The old type of barometer is actually called a storm glass. And sailors would hang these on the masts of ships to see when storms were coming in. It would actually measure air pressure. 
There's also the liquid barometer, which uses a liquid to measure air pressure, and an aneroid barometer, which doesn't use a liquid. All of them measure the power of air pressure. If you want to learn more about weather or air pressure, check out our link in the video description. Science is so cool. Air pressure is so powerful. Thanks for watching.